have you ever wondered that one day would you be paid to, you know, have fun and punch a fake dragon? In your life? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, listen, ever since I was a little kid, I dreamt of being an actor. I, I not just dreamt of it, I believed. I really did believe that I was going to be. I just knew it. I can't explain how or why. Because I was a, bit, a child. Um, but, so, so, in some ways, I'm, I'm not surprised. Uh, but you never know what jobs you're gonna get as an actor. I, I didn't know that I would be getting to play such a fantastic character in a fantastic franchise where I have so much fun getting to be a younger version of me inside. Um, and, the, and that with all of that invent, adventure, uh, one of these movies would require me literally punching a dragon in the face. <laughs> but it's so fun. Uh, if you could choose a movie or series to live in, which one would it be? Just for a while, not forever. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's a really good question. I think, you know, I, this might sound strange, but I think it would be really fun or interesting to live in the show Lost. Oh gosh. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, <laughs> but, but there was stuff that was really interesting about that and like people surviving together. Again, going back to a tribe, going back to what, you know, simplifying life. I don't, I certainly don't wish to go be stranded on an island or whatever, but I do think that there's something that's very liberating, very freeing about if you got stranded on an island and you were all you did back to basics, back to what life used to be. No cell phones, no computers, no none of that. Just living an actual simple life, I think would be really good. I think it would be good for all of our heads, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's your choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another beautiful aspect of the movie is focus on the families. Mm -hmm. You know, these two different families that they're trying mm -hmm. to stick together no matter what and rebuild their happiness. Mm -hmm. Even your characters, they're trying to do this. They are. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. You know, that's why, that's, that, that's really what made it fun to play because it would be, much less fun if you were just evil, you know, mm, that would yeah. be flat and, and one dimensional and rather boring. But we had our, we could come into this film with, with our feelings of, of righteousness and, and, you know, commitment and, and, you know, deep in our hearts, which, ma which makes it a much more interesting sort of thing to play. I was thinking just now about the whole superhero thing that people, you know, 2,000 years ago, sitting around the fire, would be telling each other yeah. stories about, about Esper and, yeah. and about Calypso and about Anthea. And they'd be telling these stories, of wouldn't course. they? And that would be their entertainment, mm -hmm. the way we now go into the darkened theatre mm -hmm. and look and at it all. Things. This is what it is. And this that's is why it's so it funny when people kind of disparage like superhero films, and it's like, this is the original this form, is the of, original entertainment. form of entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. We've always been here. Yes. So. yes. Especially this superhero movie that is focused on the importance of not being a superhero, but exactly. yes. to be human, Absolutely. Yeah. to learn and from yes. your mistakes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some and that was the charm of the first one. Yeah. Some of us don't learn. <laughs> no, some of us don't learn. Some of us don't learn. Some of us no. don't learn. Yeah. Some of us are incorrigible. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. And passionate. <laughs> yeah. If you could choose a movie or series to live in, which one would it be? Yeah. Well, this might sound weird, but I always liked like zombie movies and like apocalyptic movies. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so, I mean, if it's not forever, it's like, oh, it would be kind of cool to check out that kind of world where mm. everything has gone to, to crap and you to know, experience the monsters. something, you know. Why not? Adrenaline. Yeah, that, yeah. Like, like The Last weird, of Us, maybe? Yeah. Oh the, gosh, yeah. yeah. Do you no, like zombies? Yeah, it's been a lot of zombies recently though. Like, it feels like, I, I, it used to be like one of my favorite horror subgenres, mm -hmm. but it feels like they've done a lot with now. It's everything from zombie romantic comedies yeah. to zombie dramas. It was vampire like, before, you know? And yeah. Now, yeah, well at least zombies are cooler than vampires. Yeah. Okay, it's similar to Zachary, he said Lost. You know, the TV series. Never saw that one, actually. I'm one of those Seriously? few, yeah. Don't no spoil anything. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do mean, they get off the island? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't know the, the story, the ending, I, I've anything? Heard, yeah, I've heard through, you know, yeah, social and media and things. So it's like, so yeah. why watch it now, you know? 
No, but it's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Not the ending, but yeah. I'll turn it off before the end. <laughs> Make up my own ending. Okay. No, you need to watch some Italian movies. Yeah. Um, I've seen some Italian movies. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Like what? Uh, well, yeah, well that, that one's not an Italian one, but it's an Italian director, Liliana mm -hmm. Cavani, who did the oh. Ripley's Game. Really nice. I really love that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's better than um, The Talents of Mr. Ripley, actually. I love, I mean, Italian horror movies from like the 70s, 80s. I actually have a lot of references to Italian horror movie directors in this movie. Yeah. Just uh, references to Lucio Fulci and Mario Bava, Dario Argento, and even uh, uh, Rogero Diodato, who unfortunately, mm -hmm. unfortunately yeah. passed away yeah. recently. Recently. Uh, no, I, that's like my comfort food, Italian, old Italian horror movies. Really nice. Yeah. Okay.